Man, we had a, a surge of people jump in here. Go ahead and tell everybody, Tuesdays and Thursdays from here on, we will not be going live here. We will be over at the Sportsbook Review YouTube page doing our college football show at 5.30 p.m. Central Time. That is SBR Sports Picks on YouTube, or you can go to sbrpicks.com slash CFB. You can find it over there. Uh, but every Tuesday and Thursday, 5.30 p.m. Central Time, so adjust to whatever time zone you are in. Head over there. We're going to talk college football for about 30 minutes each day, Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's going to be a good time. Make sure that you check it out over there. Let's talk about Des Bryant. The Ravens are bringing him in for a workout, and I am incredibly stoked about this. He has not played in two years. Uh, we'll go ahead and say this. Harbaugh told reporters on Monday, that's John Harbaugh, the, the head coach of the Ravens, he said, my only comment is that we are not commenting on workouts. We're looking everywhere at everybody all the time. Whoever we bring in, once the workout happens, I'm sure that will be announced. He has not played a regular season snap since 2017. The Cowboys cut him in the spring of 2018. He signed a one-year deal in New Orleans in 2018, but tore his Achilles tendon. Uh, he landed on IR. He did not sign with the team last year. He has no plans to retire. And we have seen videos of him working out, and he looks like he is in fantastic shape. I mean, just unbelievable shape. Yeah, but he looked at, he looked in great shape the last time he was putting yeah. videos out and going all around the country and couldn't get a job. That's it. Matt Miller said it's only been two. It seems like it's been half a decade. Uh, yeah. The Ravens are not scared of bringing in names. They they think they've got a really good locker room culture established. Well, they do. Yeah, they're not and worried they 100% about him. Because no. they they talked about how um, they talked about Antonio Brown. You know, they yeah. talked about a bunch of different stuff. I, I'm going to tell you how old do you think Des Bryant is? Twenty mm, seven. De- I thought he was significantly older. He's 31 years old. But nah, I, I was shocked that he's in the 30s. Really. Man, I thought yeah. that he was like it because he's he's just been around forever. It felt like yes, he's been around forever. But remember, like he came out of high school or a college early. Yeah, and I he, mean, he, was he year missed early. that year of college. I mean, yeah, he is a long time. Now, you're right. Uh, Michael said, "Good for Des." It's been a. I've never been a big fan, but I like more interesting guys in the league minus AB. Yeah, no, I don't think he's going. I I don't think he's coming back. Uh, I mean, it, we'll we'll see what happens. This is right? this is like, a workout. Okay. Yeah. That's a, the Ravens, it, so it says the Ravens have some speed in their receiver core in Marquise Brown and Miles Boykin. If they bring in Bryant, he would play a reserve possession receiver role. He, listen, this yeah. is what everybody said last year. He's going to basically be a tight end. He won't line up at the tight end. He won't block for you like a tight end. But he's but he's just a big body in the red zone to catch the ball at, for a tight end. That's it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, that's if he a, gets there, he's got a big Mark frame. Andrew, Mark Andrews is the only person that's going to lose any production there. Yeah, if Des comes in, I mean, he, because, he'll be a, he'll be a red zone guy because that's it. He there's a reason nobody picked him up last year. Okay, he just he he doesn't have breakaway speed. He can't get open. He is still big and strong and athletic. Yeah, and so can he go up and get a ball? Sure. So and yeah. and for the does Ravens, that would hands? be absolutely perfect. because the Ravens have got outside speed. Like with Boykin and Brown, I mean, yeah, you've but they've got, got inside guys too. The, the kicker is, is what does he want to get paid? Because I think he could have gotten a job last year. Should have gotten a job last year. Yeah, but if he's just holding out and he wa- he's got an unrealistic price tag, then he's not going. He's not going to get it. Now you might be right. You might be right. But either way, it is still interesting because it is Des Bryant, and his name automatically brings headlines. I would like to see it. I want to see what he looks like. I want to see what they end up doing. I don't know that we'll get to see any videos or anything like that, but. Uh, you know, I, I think uh, I think more interesting guys in the league makes it better. It gives us even more to talk about, and we'll be talking a whole lot of NFL on this channel. We'll have our previews towards the end of the month as we're getting into uh, the season and whatnot. Season obviously kicks off on September 10th on that Thursday night. It's going to be a good time. Good time. Good time. All right, everybody that has dove into the comments today, we appreciate all of you very, very much. We always do. You guys help drive the conversation. You, uh, you brought up a lot of really interesting questions today. We will continue to answer those as we go on. Uh, Darren McCarl, Michael Fritz, Matt Miller, you know, Damian, all these guys, you guys have been great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Make sure that you go over to the YouTube channel, SBR Sports Picks, or sbrpicks.com slash CFB. Make sure you are subscribed. Hit that little bell so you'll be notified when we go live tomorrow. We will be going live to discuss college football at 5.30 p.m. Central Time and we are going to have a good time with it over there. It's going to be a whole lot of stuff. Uh, 
Damian asks, as we're closing out, he said, did y'all hear about John Jones? I have not seen anything about John Jones. Did something break? I haven't seen anything. I have no idea. I don't see anything. I know that they were talking about uh, a fight with him towards the end of the year, but I haven't seen anything pop up that was official. So, let's see. Bones Jones, anything on there? I don't see anything. Uh, Hold on, hold on. An hour ago, he just got off the phone with UFC. Today, I confirmed that I'm vacating the light heavyweight championship. It's officially up for grabs. It's been an amazing journey. Sincere thanks to all my competition, UFC, and most importantly, you fans. So, okay. Um, basically, I think he's closing the light heavyweight chapter of his career. Hold on, this is Errol Hawani. He said uh, he spends a few months to add muscle and weight and moves up to the heavyweight eventually. The question becomes, does he fight for the belt right away or a contender off the bat? So, uh, and, and they are scheduling a fight between Dominic Reyes and Jan Blachowicz. Um, that's a 205-pound light heavyweight fight for September 26th. So that'll be basically the, it'll be up for the light heavyweight championship. Okay. That's awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you this, man. Stipe defended that title three times in a row. Cormier yep. came in, caught him, got him. Then he beats Cormier two times in a row after that. He, he's Now he's getting up there in age. I'm ready to he see him like against... He like he wanted to quit. I want to see him fight Francis Naganu so bad. So think we'll get it? Bad. Oh, it, we, it may not be this year, uh, but I, I think we will Why 100% not? get it. Um, Why not? I mean, because it's August. I would imagine that's probably a January, February kind of fight. Why does that so, matter? Well, because that's that's typically what they do. Like at Stipe, I think it's it's like every five to six months that he fights. Okay. So okay. I mean, he's he's just because they try and space out those fights with those guys. Uh, Naganu. Well, they don't have a lot of heavyweights, so yeah. Yeah, they try and they try sense. and space those out. So I mean, the they did the same thing with the uh, the Cormier and in uh, uh, Stipe fights. So oh, yes. You know, yeah. so I, I think it's okay. the same thing here. And Naganu and Stipe would be a massive fight. I mean, just unbelievable. That'd be so good. Ah, oh, so good. I mean, Cormier is the only guy that's gotten him, and he caught him once. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Thanks, fellas, uh, from Michael Fritz. He said, Gary, games on YouTube have been cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, every day at noon, I hadn't really announced this. Uh, we started it last Friday. I have got... Um, I've got games that are going up every day at noon if you want to jump in and check out some college football simulations and whatnot. It's, uh, it's been a lot of fun. I've jumped in with some of the guys that have been in there you know, during the live chat. Uh, Damian jumped in. I know we had some other guys in there, and it's, it's been fun. So if you guys want to dive in, uh, I've been you know, recording a few of those, tossing them in, and it's been fun. So, uh, so if you guys want to check those out, you know, obviously every day, 12 p.m. Central Time, uh, they're 45 minutes each, whatever it is. But, uh, but you guys have had fun with it, so I'm going to keep going. And uh, and yeah, we'll just keep on rolling. Once once we get more of a schedule this evening from the SEC, I'll uh, I'll do some more. We'll see we'll see what we got. So, all right, again, sbrpicks.com slash cfb. That is the site for us for our college football coverage. Uh, we'll have a Big Twelve preview out this week. We'll have an ACC preview out later on in the week, and then we'll do an SEC one for next week. Uh, and then we'll do the uh, the smaller conferences once you know they release what their um, you know what their schedules actually are, because right now it's just kind of a, a cluster. But uh, but they will announce theirs, I think, once the SEC announces theirs this evening. And then we'll move on from there. So sbrpicks.com slash CFB. You can get all of our stuff at winningcureseverything.com, all of our podcasts, all of our videos, previews, picks, whatever. Uh, it's all going to be over there. If you missed the live show, make sure you download the podcast. Go on and check that thing out. And uh, And yeah, you guys in the chat, again, can't tell you how much we appreciate all of you. Uh, keep rolling in. Hopefully, you all join us on the SBR show tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. Central Time. Chris, appreciate the time. Let's go ahead and dive out of here. You guys have been wonderful. So take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show.